So this is my object. It's from the Electrical Engineering uh, Collection here at UCL and um, it's what's known as an experimental valve. It was uh, made for, or by, I'm not sure which, a man called Ambrose Fleming who was the first Pender Professor of Electrical Engineering here at UCL. He was a very interesting man in himself. He, he was a creationist but also a scientist and electrician um, and he did a lot of work with the Marconi Company who uh, were responsible for a lot of the early advances in wireless technology. Um, and this valve was one of a group of 14, I think it was, that um, Fleming was working with, experimenting, uh, looking into something called the Edison effect, which uh, basically results in a molecular shadow being made on uh, the glass. Um, and uh, this is known as the thermionic emission. It's the emissions of electrons from a hot cathode into a vacuum in a vacuum tube. And this was discovered by Thomas Edison, I think it was about 1875, who um, was a very canny person in that um, he discovered this, couldn't really work out a use for it, but patented it anyway. Um, he's got the most patents out of anyone in the world and uh, part of the reason is that he just patented things even if he couldn't really work out what to do with them. So Fleming was experimenting with this, couldn't really get anything out of it, um, and then he um, put the valves away uh, and then apparently a few years later had a happy thought, came back to them and uh, experimenting with them again, came up with something called the thermionic valve uh, and the reason that this is important is that this was a receiver which basically improved the receiving capability of wireless and um, so this led to wireless being able to be used across the Atlantic so it was a huge advantage for the Marconi company and uh, it also then led to radios uh, and television and the space race and computers so the early computers used these valves um, and they were basically used right up until the 70s when uh, they were superseded by something else so it really did lead to like the modern world that we see today. I think it symbolises the collections I look after because it's um, an interesting piece of uh, technology that looks very different from what we'd use today. It's got this amazing story behind it which um, can also put people off because it sounds a bit sciencey or technical but without them, without this sort of uh, invention we wouldn't be as a society where we are today and we wouldn't be as a human race where we are today because um, you know, these were important discoveries that were made and, and changed the world.